Okay, early this morning, I had a, a revelation. I wrote down what was happening. Satan the devil, this is just exactly what in the uh, Jade Helm, um, How to Conquer Lucifer, Satan the Devil, uh, reports in announcements. What Satan the devil does is that he visits our thoughts. Our We are spiritual beings. Satan, he... We, he can hear our thoughts and we communicate as spiritual beings with God through telepathy, through our minds, through our thoughts. What Satan did is he, it, this is spiritual communication, what is happening. We're in the new covenant. God is spirit and worshipers must worship in spirit and truth. And what he was doing John 4.24, God put in my mind, also is one of the most important verses that we must understand that our relationship with God is spiritual. That is with our thoughts. Our thoughts uh, must be completely pure. And I think that's in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. 1st or 2nd Corinthians chapter 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 says, We destroy arguments and every proud obstacle to the knowledge of God. This is when Satan comes in our thoughts. And take every thought captive to obey Christ. This is how we defeat him. We say no to him in our thoughts and we ask Jesus to save us. And we use the word Jesus Christ and we seek Jesus to intervene for us. And another thought that came in my mind I was rebuking, I was the devil, however the end of the rebuke was what Michael said to the devil, he said, the Lord rebuke you in Jesus name, and then I say, save me Jesus, And because what he, it's trying to do is trying to make me, uh, it's trying to convict me falsely after the Lord, after Jesus Christ redeemed me from that. He is trying to convict me of that once again, although I've been forgiven and pardoned. And not only that, I was rescued from that. I was rescued from where the situation where Lucifer, Satan the devil, put me in in the first place. Whether it was through peer pressure, whether it was through um, the will of God to put me in there in order to minister, to, to, to conquer the devil, to use me in that situation. And um, that was very recent. And I, 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 so once again, this is for your information, not for my information, not for my benefit. I already know this. And, and that's where I told him, I, I said, this is, this is a little too much, you know. Um, so anyway, then after that, I told Jesus, I said, your will be done. Whatever you want to do, your will be done in my life. Lead me and guide me. So the devil revisited this early this morning. And he went into my thoughts. And I was kind of woken up and I was in my thoughts. I was awakened. And and so what happened is that um, I I destroyed I didn't I didn't personally just by crying out to Jesus right it says here in uh, once again Second Corinthians ten five we destroy arguments and every proud obstacle to the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ being ready to punish every disobedience okay. Um, when your disobedience is complete, that means, okay, what this means is the ends of the earth. This means the new ministry. This means the, the coming out of, of the world of the elect of Christ. This is extremely important. That we must understand where we are in the times so that we can understand the ministry of what the children of God are doing. I, I noticed a, uh, an elect
prophet of God in the streets one day. I have never seen him since. And he was rebuking uh, some Christian street ministers. They were young. And he was rebuking them because of fornication. And I was totally edified. I knew what was happening. I knew he was in the Holy Spirit. I knew he was rebuking them because of the fornication that they were committing. And I knew that he was right and that this was a message from God and that they were supposed to repent their sins. And, and then I, I noticed someone else who was a street minister who was actually rebuking the prophet and he was wrong. We have to have spiritual discernment of the times. It's time for judgment to begin with the household of God. So this is what God is doing. The elect are reproving the church so the church can withstand persecution. After the persecution of the church, the attention of God will be directed towards the persecutors of God. Now is the time for the church to rise. That's exactly what the time we're living in right now. So, when Lucifer's, we communicate through telepathy, our thoughts, our minds. And that's the thoughts that we hear. Those are demons. Lucifer will himself, Lucifer himself is going to visit the, the real elect. And he's not omnipresent. He can only be at one place at one time. Himself, itself. And it will, in the spiritual realm, try to uh, defeat us in our mind. It's a mind game, mind manipulation. And that's when we need to revert to Jesus. This is what this is the testing. Jesus wants us to seek him, to use him and then he's going to intervene for us and that's what happened the Satan the devil has to flee but it will come to test us and try us so this is what the Holy Spirit revealed and Satan visits our thoughts he uh, tries us then persecutes and I wrote here be wise as serpents this is what that verse also means to be wise as serpents. When these thoughts come into our minds, when Satan the devil comes to attack us, we must be as wise as as his its wiles, as what it is doing. We must understand what it is doing. And the only way we can understand is through the Holy Spirit of Christ when we have fellowship with Jesus. Lucifer, Satan the devil, is seeking spiritual destruction first than physical destruction. So I hope you're edified. Amen.